In this video we are going to talk about most embarrassing early celebrations in sports history. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. However, while the saying there's no time like the present is true in most aspects of life, it requires a slight adjustment when it comes to sports. A time like the present exists when you are confident that the shot has been sunk, the pass has been caught, the goal line is crossed, the last buzzer is still ringing in your ears, and the penalty flag is still securely fastened to the referee's belt, according to the author of the novel. Given that 2021 has proven to be a particularly fruitful year for gaffes of the premature celebration sort, it is more crucial than ever to exercise such foresight in the future. Among the new examples are some of the most cherished moments in the history of sports. The entire ordeal was excruciatingly painful. Every single one of them was amusing in their own way. In every aspect, this is embarrassing. So, let's see some most embarrassing early celebrations in sports history. Number 10. Lindsay Jacobellis Hot Dogs Away Her Gold The Winter Olympic Games in Turin were held in 2006. Jacobellis was about to make history by being the first woman to win the women's snowboard cross competition at an Olympic Games in any sport, a debut event. Her balance, her gold medal, and her day in the Italian sun were all destroyed when she added a little celebratory something more to her final jump. But, hey, she did create history, didn't she? Number 9. Fist Pumping on the Penultimate Lap With his failure to remember the nagging last lap that had plagued him throughout the season, Ricardo Russo became yet another unfortunate participant in the 2012 Italian Civ Championship race at Mugello, where he finished last overall. Things would not have gone out quite as horribly if you had only thrown your hands in the air once, Ricky. Despite the fact that the humiliation thermometer was slightly elevated above usual, the act of standing up on the foot pegs and boxing with air drove it to its maximum capacity. Number 8. Alex Kuyavant Slows His Roll During the 2010 World Roller Speed Skating Championships in Germany, Colombian skater Alex Kuyavant came within a few seconds of winning the gold medal in the 2000m men's final. Kuyavant is a skater of outstanding skill. After building up a comfortable lead and with only a few meters left to go, he took it leisurely and began to luxuriate in his triumph. Sang Chul Lee, a South Korean skater, on the other hand, blasted the last of his internal nitrous tank and surged ahead to capture the victory. Number 7. Lopez Lamont joins the club. At the time of the Peyton Jordan Cardinal Invitational in April 2012, experienced Olympian Lopez Lamont was a whirlwind of activity preparing to race in the men's 5,000 meters to qualify for the 2012 Summer Olympic Games in London. As the leader, he threw his hands in the air before slowing to an outstanding victory trot, earning him membership in the Yadud, you've still got a lap to go club. Fortunately, he was able to rev his pistons back up and still managed to win the race, qualify for the finals, and set a world record time in the process. Number 6. Aaron Dobson Dances with Lady Luck the date is September 10, 2010. Marshall vs West Virginia is a college football game taking place in the United States. At the goal line, Aaron Dobson hauls in a 96-yard pass and then pulls a Deshaun Jackson to secure the victory. As luck would have it, the officials are completely unaware of the mistake. The video, unfortunately for him, will continue to be a subject of dispute on the internet in perpetuity, which is a shame. Fortunately for him, this spectacular catch becomes viral a year later, effectively removing the film of his premature celebration from the internet. Number 5. The Comeback Busters An epic combat between feline behemoths will take place between the Panthers of Plano East Senior High School and John Tyler High School on Saturday, November 18. The Panthers of Plano East Senior High School take on the Lions of John Tyler High School in a high school football game. The state received the number 2 ranking in an Associated Press survey compared to the state's number three position in the same survey. However, with 3.03 remaining in the game and the Lions ahead 41-17, it appeared as if the game was all but over for the visitors. It was then that the Panthers pulled off a comeback that was almost too incredible to comprehend with 24 seconds left on the clock, their lead had grown to 44-41, and they were in complete charge of the situation. The announcement was met with screams and yells of excitement from the announcers. As a Lions receiver raced down the field, announcer Mike Zafuto screamed oh no into the air, mere seconds after the play was completed. Touchdown! The Lions defeat the Panthers by a score of 48-44. I don't believe it for one second. God bless those children, I am ill to my stomach and want to puke up. Mike Zafuto. Number 4. 
Adriana Perda gets smoked. If you're going to put up a big fight during the first 42,115 meters of a marathon, you'd better be able to keep it up for the final 50 meters as well. No matter how far ahead you think you are, there is always someone ahead of you. Perda had gone from waving to the fans and relishing an anticipated victory to horrified defeat in the blink of an eye, says Jim Fursell of Runner's World. Number 3. The Helmet Toss of Doom People believe that God despises the Browns. He, on the other hand, appears to. The Kansas City Chiefs' Trent Green appeared to have been sacked by Dwayne Rudd at the conclusion of one of the most exciting NFL games in modern history at the time. The game has come to an end. Cleveland is victorious. In exuberance, he threw his helmet on the ground. However, the play was not yet finished. And even if it had been, thanks to the helmet throw, the game was far from done. Number 2. All In Dwight Pilgrim entered the 2010 Borgata Poker Open hoping to become the second player in history to be eliminated in the first round. The flop turned out to be a complete and utter disaster for him. He rejoiced in the knowledge that he had 0 for more on the ropes. In a very, very large way, in fact. Knowing what's about to happen makes it both painful and fascinating to witness. As soon as the laws of probability conspired to make the turn card become a river card, he realized there was just not enough humble pie in the world for him to consume. He is claimed to have approached the announcer and said, make sure you don't make me look too horrible with all the celebrating and whatnot, according to the report. Number 1. The Divine Deflection On that fateful day in November 2002, Kentucky took the lead with 11 seconds left on the clock. According to sports writer Scott Rabelais, this is what happened at that point, Kentucky fans began leaping from the Commonwealth Stadium stands and ringing the field with their chants. Quarterback Jared Lawrence and drenched coach Guy Morris with a cooler full of water on the UK sideline on Friday night. It appeared as though a big blue upset was on the horizon. But hold the presses for a moment. The premature jubilation had not yet come to an end. LSU exploited the final few seconds of the game to try to make something magical happen. However, it appears that this was not going to happen. With a final shotgun blast, the clock struck 12. The end zone was ignited by Kentucky fireworks. Kentucky fans jumped up and down on the goalposts in celebration. In the meanwhile, a Hail Mary pass was attempted. Tipped. Caught. I danced my way into the finish zone. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.